Hi Virgos, thank you guys so much for joining me here for your reading. So we're going to open up with the astral travel messages where I connect directly to spirit to anchor down predictions for events that have already unfolded in your life, ones that could currently be occurring, and we'll see what waits you on this timeline ahead as we overlay this with the tarot. With that being said, Virgos, the first scene and setting was an obstacle course. I feel like this was an internal challenge that a lot of you were going through within yourself. Maybe this is about your self-esteem, your like belief in yourself, especially like second house energy. I feel like it's a natural talent that a lot of you have that maybe you're questioning your own like self value or the value that this thing can add to others lives especially if this is a way that you want to generate some kind of stream of revenue or income and I'm hearing a lot of you have like an inclination to do this but there was an internal almost like obstacle or challenge that you had to confront within yourself and maybe seen where you could have been holding yourself back in some way and this was something that you did have to overcome in order to reach your goals some of you are still going through this kind of challenge within yourself battle within yourself um and others of you have already moved past this but I feel like this was about the belief in yourself because I was being shown a centrifugal state of being, which is somebody that paid too much attention to the external world, needed external validation or... Um, I'm hearing like validation um, or acceptance when it comes to maybe just a natural talent that you have, okay, in some way. And a lot of you had to just reinstill that value within yourself, okay, and not seek external acceptance compromising your integrity in the process you were almost a witness to your own creation especially when it comes to what you could create your life to be right or what version of yourself you could be able to uh, build yourself up to become you know so after this i was showing a girl who fell down in public she joked with other girls about it just to kind of like ease the tension and you guys ran off afterwards and the girls saw that you dropped your backpack so they went after you um to return it to you and a backpack is all about your past it's all about the burdens and responsibilities and i almost get you know i'm seeing a caterpillar that has evolved into a butterfly and there's other people that may not have evolved yet and they're still the caterpillar and they're like hey virgos do you remember when you were like this version of yourself do you remember when this happened or do you, do you know it's almost like again your past your history it's behind you but people are trying to remind you of the time that you were a caterpillar it's that type of energy even though you've evolved and you, you're no longer even in resonance with this old version of self who would have made decisions like this or who would have done this you know there's a different way that you navigate the world and some of you you're realizing that the opinions of others are no longer your burden to carry especially as other people have kind of witnessed you go through this transformation they may have things to say about it people may come in and try to you know try to remind you of your past or who it is that you are but you no longer are you know it's like your past doesn't define you and it doesn't have to define where you're going either so that's almost something that you could be going through i was also being shown an invasion in privacy where a woman basically let herself into your house because her child needed a place to stay and this shows your inner world your mental and emotional and spiritual self home invasion shows a loss of control independence in your waking life and it also shows unavoidable influences in the outside world and what effect that has when it comes to your internal organism right your internal state so again this is about a centripetal state of being where you want to really put the focus on you during this time instead of the love that you'd usually give to others this is about giving that love to yourself okay and yeah i feel like people are always gonna have things to say especially when it comes to threats to identity the new version of yourself that you're embodying and yeah there's a need to just focus on yourself during this time really don't pay i'm hearing don't pay mind to the small talk um after this you guys were in a small car with guys and they were allowing your life to ramble aimlessly that reminded me of one of the cards in here where it's like you know you're just taking a back seat and other people are really controlling the narrative of your life in some way and this could have been like an unconscious consent that a lot of you had where it was almost like you were just becoming a passive recipient of a lot of these energy exchanges or your non-action was also in action uh, when it comes to removing these type of people from your life. But now you have no problem doing so. OK, so this implies an extension of what is achievable and these people were bringing a lot of chaos and they weren't looking where they went uh, on the road. So they ran over a baby crap pam pram and they killed a puppy when you looked back so this is feelings of social inadequacy not belonging right this could have been a fear of dealing with challenges frequently happening in relationships in your life so this is where like literally being connected to other people were 
it was just causing a lot of internal disruption within your being, to be honest with you. And maybe you saw that there was a contradiction, right? When it comes to the type of life that you want to step into versus your environment, right? Or those social constructs um, or communal environments in some way. And in order to be able to restore harmony in your external environments, you had to be able to pay attention to what leads to disharmony within yourself, right? And how can you restore that internal harmony? What decisions you need to make to, you know, cultivate a stronger sense of self-love, you know? Okay. Um, so after this, so you asked them to let you out of the car and you hopped on a bus instead, which is, suggests a need of change in direction, especially when it comes to your social connections. On the bus, you met someone that had a crush on you. There was a girl who was live streaming and she was asking about Wi-Fi to a driver. And this shows your connections to new people that are coming in, resources that other people can connect to as well. The Wi-Fi shows your communication with others and there's new people that you're going to be linked to, okay? This could also be like an invisible thread that's woven into the fabric of our waking world. So there could be a lot of fated encounters that are coming in for you. I'm hearing a lot of you, um, I'm seeing business encounters or opportunities or partnerships. And it also indicates that you're feeling connected and supported by those around you. So you could be able to communicate your thoughts more easily and effectively. I feel like this is the new season that you're stepping into when it comes to your life. And it kind of reminded me as well. I think this message is for you. I took a photo of this. It says, it said, imagine, look at the things that you excite your imagination. Okay. Let me show you this. I saw it on a train. Anyway, it says excite your imagination causes people and a city to inspire you. So I feel like there's literally new things and people and you're going to be receiving like a preview of life's upcomings when it comes to you just how profound these new connections coming in um are and how that's going to alter the trajectory of your life in some way but yeah i feel like you're focusing on the type of partnerships you want to have during this time even like your dream job right what you, would you want that to be like what kind of people would that connect you with type of vibe so yeah we're going to do a reading based on those messages and we're going to go ahead and clarify them for you so we're going to open up with let's open up with one of these oracle messages and see what it is that you guys where you guys are at right now i just want to get an energy read and then i want to see what's coming in for you right because i feel like we talked a lot about the past and we talked about what has led you up to this point we have creative fire love that sun card energy stepping into a position of authority power over your life getting back in tune with just being this um creative life force that's seated within this physical vessel and i feel like you guys are really stepping into creator mode okay with uh creator fire again focusing on your imagination creating the life that you want for yourself especially because you now have a lot of knowledge from your past experiences when it comes to the things that serve you the things that don't the things that lead to unfulfillment and uh that leading to you better understanding the things that would bring you that fulfillment right some of you it's just where you know you've just been wanting more either in within work or the partnerships around you and there's an opportunity to be able to explore that now i'm hearing let's go ahead and read some of creative fire yeah super powerful card again really focusing on your sacral chakra so this is about your energy exchanges and having that be more balanced and more fulfilling okay instead of having those imbalance exchanges where you feel like people don't see your worth people take advantage of you especially if you're easily accessible to them right so uh to live your life as a work of art you must bring love and attention into your words and actions whether it's in a small intense flame or a blazing passionate forge start consciously creating your life now don't let the fire go out so again this is focusing on any kind of connections that really diminish your fire or people that try to douse your fire and leave you choking on the smoke you know this is about having radical acceptance for just people that have served a purpose in your life and maybe no longer do at this stage in your journey start small breathe life back into yourself again this is about creation a world artist at heart and i feel like you guys are literally creating the story of your life realizing that there is this masterpiece as you're focusing on that work in progress right maybe you're seeing where it is that you want to progress forward towards during this time but there's almost this intricate design that's leading you towards the bigger picture or story of your life so yeah let's go ahead and see what's coming in for you i wanted to do we'll do some tarot and then i'll do a little kippers as well for you guys and see what you guys can look forward to so tell me about that creative fire what's uh coming towards virgos now and see the timeline Four of Cups, so again, you guys being in a position where you are really reflecting on what would better fulfill you, what 
or who would be better in alignment with your values whether these are people whether this is a job it's like a really realizing that the universe is almost again handing you a cup that you haven't chosen before right this could be a new career path it could be a new way of generating streams of income it could be new connections whatever it is it's like lunacy is choosing the th same thing over and over again and expecting a different result so the universe is almost sending you an invitation to shake up the algorithm within your life right things won't change if things won't change yeah you have five of pentacles or reverse so they're saying hey virgos you can come out of this state i love this because you literally have the six of cups at the base which is saying you can come out of this state if you allow yourself we have something for you you know it's like the universe has a gift for you but you need to keep your head up high and focus on the things that you want to gain by choosing something different than whatever it is that you feel like you're losing or leaving behind because the universe is really just making space for you to receive so much more but you're definitely coming out of a phase where again you feel like undervalued it's like a again sacral chakra energy that's imbalanced again a lot of energy here definitely a sacrificial energy that's coming through for you but there's something about see seeing the sacredness within the sacrifice <sighs> yeah ace of uh, pentacles nine of wands again you are a wounded warrior it definitely wasn't easy to get here but you're way more resilient and courageous now it's like it's only made you stronger right it's only, only like i'm hearing magnitude your willpower or sheer determination to receive whatever it is that you want a lot of you it is just a creative opportunity or a career or financial opportunity there with the ace of pentacles there's a opportunity to start afresh right death and rebirth at the base go through profound transformations in your life moon and sagittarius energy right so a lot of you are wanting to kind of break free from the old paradigm in some way like the way that you used to navigate reality is not going to be the same way that you are stepping into this new season. I'm hearing it's winning season, so get ready, Virgos. Um, but yeah, you're definitely uprooting something there with the Nine of Wands, right? You, It's like you've been broken down in a thousand ways, so now you have a thousand ways to be able to rebuild yourself, right? I'm hearing this is like people that made you question your self-worth, you know? Some of you people could have made you question your belief systems. Yeah, four of uh, swords. A lot of you have definitely come out of a period of um, separation, right? Where I feel like you're separating from something just that that no longer brings you that satisfaction. Maybe that it once did. Maybe you've outgrown this in resonance or in alignment. In alignment, you know. So you're definitely healing from this, focusing on what else could be out there, what else you can take inspired action towards. Yeah, you have the world card and the five of coins you're definitely coming to some kind of karmic completion and i feel like this is about accepting yourself and seeing the value in yourself right and as you do that um the universe begins to you know with the law of correspondence reflect that to you in your external reality your external reality also begins to correspond with those internal belief systems right instead of questioning your self-worth right having clouded judgment about your own value it's like you know who you are better now than ever before you know the things that will make you happy more than now more than ever before it's like you know what your heart's desires are truly all right we have the two of swords and we have the two of wands here and the magician so some of you could definitely be waiting to receive some kind of clarification or information so that you can begin to plan and prepare for some kind of progression in your future. A lot of you know that there's a path that you're very familiar with in any kind of connection that just leaves you feeling unfulfilled and you're definitely being invited to step into the unknown where everything that you ever desired is on the other side of. So you're definitely waiting to hear back for a lot of you from something or waiting for like the go ahead, something that you've been manifesting. So let's go ahead and see what this is. Let's take a look at the kippers and see how this is going to unfold for you. I'm hearing watch me unfold. So yeah, I feel like you're about to be, something's going to be revealed to you in regards to this. I, I'm just hearing like I've been manifesting this. Yes, I've been manifesting this. Judification, somebody could be considering you for something, or you've been considering something, right? Your despair that's popping out there to you. Oh, big stack. Yeah, well, okay. So a lot of you, this is a contract of some kind. Look at that, you have sudden wealth, okay? So you're definitely gonna feel like you hit the jackpot after an ending, okay? It's almost like you had to release something to make room for the new. 
I'm seeing somebody like clear out their wallet or like have to throw away an old wallet and spirit's like what uh, no you're like spirit why are you asking me to throw away this wallet and they're like it's not big enough to be able to like hold all the things that we have in store for you that's the type of vibe that I get and then you literally have gift and um what's that occupation so again a lot of you this is going to be you grant being granted a new uh job I'm hearing uh, you're going to be playing a different role soon and uh yeah I'm getting a lot of you also going to hear from something that you've been envisioning for for a long time like how would this feel if I you know stepped into this reality how would it feel to actually be accepted by this job or for this business to take off you know whatever it is it's that type of vibe that I'm getting but again you're going to be gifted okay occupation so this could be to do with your public image that's definitely going to be changing you have courthouse and message of just um concern so this could be unexpectedly if something comes in courthouse is usually about like legal documents and then you have contract at the base which is literally about a coming together and some kind of contract so there definitely is some kind of contract that's coming in for you guys it's definitely going to feel like a gift it's definitely upgrades when it comes to your occupation okay and it's all happening after an ending like it's literally all it's all i'm hearing this all be leading you up to this moment let's go and take a look at some timing for you and see if anything significant comes up right i know we've been getting a lot of october energy recently so let's see you have in a few months okay so it could be between now and in a few months for you guys anytime within the next few months something could definitely be popping off for you but something's definitely going to be changing okay all right, let's go ahead and close out with some tea leaf messages. Oh my gosh. But yeah, definitely after an ending, you have the casket there at the top. Some of you are still departing from something, right? You have beware of self-delusion when I um split it and then I just split it on do not be tempted to lower your standards. So some of you are still going through that rite of passage, if you will, okay? Depending where you are on the timeline. You have you'll be taken care of in difficult times. You have a distant friend is thinking of you okay this could be someone that you've already departed from in some way you have door opportunities are waiting for you so there's definitely new opportunities on the other side we have changes in your life okay this could be around the things that you once found brought you some kind of comfort but they no longer are bringing you that comfort right this is knowing that yeah change is uncomfortable but so is staying the same you also have wedge so wedge someone coming between you or something that you want you may have felt like the person or situation that you've disconnected from was kind of wedging you between you know the reality that you want to step into right and yourself so let's see we have cracked cup dissatisfaction with life okay so again this is what happening after some kind of unfulfillment we also have pay attention to your work this definitely could have been to do with korea in some way right it's going to be some kind of reset do not back down show strength and fortitude right against opposition with paul so you guys are definitely very fixated on some kind of goal okay if you're a stubborn or aggressive person this could be you guys you guys could be really stubborn when it comes to seeing something through or you've been we had secret admirer at the base this could have been someone that was like secretly admiring you but manifested in weird ways because they don't have a great relationship with themselves was have younger man could be significant that could have happened with a young younger man for a lot of you or someone that was just immature we have a journey either physical or mental so i feel like you guys are departing from whatever this is uh again opening the key towards a new door successful outcome to your problems you're definitely stepping into a new phase in your life let's go ahead and close out with um yeah let's close out with a oracle message for you guys We have no place like home and you have imagine okay so let's go and re read no place like home i feel like you're finding somewhere that you're actually going to feel comfortable and you actually feel like you're gonna fit in in regards to right maybe you guys have felt like i don't know just something's been out of place but i feel like you're coming back to yourself now so you have authenticity coming home to yourself feeling at home arriving at a place where you just fit in being comfortable in your own skin so a lot of you this could be a new working environment or doing something that just feels at home to you right it's just something that feels natural um so it feels like a secure place that you're going to be entering into it also shows that you're becoming at home in your own skin beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity aspects of yourself that no one can take away from you you know who you are some of you are walking away with your dignity you know with whatever this is whether it's relationship um or some kind of job you know um you hold your head up high with neither pride nor hum humility instead you stand as the observer seeing through the eyes of your soul this puts you in a position of power and strength authenticity is your home you are safe here in the house of your spirit okay so um 
in prosperity this is about you commanding the world to reflect back exactly what it is that you want for your highest good your business choices the investments you make and the creative projects you immerse yourself in are powerfully on point why because you fully uh because when you are fully yourself, radically accepting everything in your journey to date, both successes and failures, you will see divinity in all things. Abundance is a natural progression when you experience this kind of authenticity. So there's definitely new people that are going to be, um, I'm hearing like, um, drawn towards you. You know, some of you are just being authentic to yourself and the right kind of opportunities are going to, you know, be, I'm hearing, um, be appearing beneath your feet okay a lot of you are aligning with this on a frequency um and vibration or like resonance state is what i feel like you're aligning your frequency so that this appears beneath your feet it's like a really specific um i'm hearing code that you're entering into the matrix so it's like something maybe some of you are like reprogramming your avatar in some way like your internal matrix especially when it comes to your belief systems and if like you're no longer having any kind of limiting beliefs that are holding you back during this time there is only the one big knowing that you are infinite potential and there's no need to settle in any kind of circumstance or situation because you are made for so much more you literally have an endless seat of possibilities of readily available for you to access to right you just have to tune your frequency like a radio station you know what what uh station do you want to dial into what reality do you want to dial into that goes because i feel like that's what's coming up for you during this time but anyway, I wish you guys the very best of luck. I really hope that this reading brought you all the clarification and insight that you need at this stage in your journey. If you're not already subscribed to this channel and want to stick on for future reads, you consider subscribing. We'd love to have you around. Personal reads are also down below. But until next time, Virgos, bye.